The other thing is this thing's an 8-6. Like, an 8-6 kills people really fast. Like, really, really fast. Wow. So that's gonna be... Uh... They only have one mana left? Alright, well, I'll just have this thing kill him. That thing's 28 damage. Tell you, that kills people really fast. And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jarvan Shen. It's going to be our last deck today. It's a deck that I've always done well with and enjoy playing. I like having different challengers and barriers and all that kind of stuff. Barriers are very good these days against Sivir and Ruin Runner when you're playing against those kind of decks. Um, and you got some good Nexus healing with some Spirits Refuge. You got lots of great blockers um, in here, which is good health for Sand Soldiers like Protégé, Shen, Screeching Dragon with the Fury. And you got some good powerful top end stuff. I like having Sacred Protectors in here to draw Shen because um, even like having Shen's Champion spell quite good and then the double attack with the barrier can really end games really fast uh, by surprise and bright steel formation is just amazing so it's going to be our deck we're going to go ahead and try this one out you get both sharp sight and twin disciplines like i've said before twin disciplines is the best spell in the game um, so you get that and then you also get sharp sight so pretty good little deck here like it let's go ahead and play some jarvan shen we'll go play some games in ranked and we'll see how we do Okay, we got Karma Ezreal to start with. The thing, like, Flea Feather Tracker dies pretty easily to, like, uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna actually kind of mulligan that, I think. Well, I don't know. It's like the, the Tracker plus the Bright Seal Protector is really nice. Yeah, I'll send it back. So, Static Shock. Static Shock's, like, the uh, kind of a problem card. For the Fleet Feather Tracker, I don't like the one health. Um, definitely wish I would have mulliganed the Screeching Dragon if I would have known that we would draw our second Screeching Dragon and then the Sacred Protector. So we'll have a little bit of a top end hand. All right, there we go. All right, now now our hand's definitely looking better. I fight with my spirit, not, not as top my heavy, and and that's the other thing is like Fleet Feather Tracker is not really killing stuff, right? It's not killing either the Dragon, not killing Ezreal. It is time. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Had it the whole time. Boo. I'm just going to pass here. Okay. I don't love that challenge. Getting all that damage on my... Um, I think I'm also just passing here. No. Mine's going to be dragon. Don't love getting all that damage on my protege. Making it easy to kill the protege. Because if they have Thermo Beam, they could have played Thermo Beam last round and they didn't. Yeah, we got the Shen boat. It must be done. I demand satisfaction. So I want to attack before they use Concussive Palm, but I guess they could just play Concussive Palm after I attack anyway, so it's not really that much of an upgrade, is it? both our actions yeah it's not like that's a, a big deal but I, I don't want to play the other screeching dragon right now because I want to have some more mana for some spells I find them Run them through. So, 
two barriers towards Shen's level up. Shen has a wonderful champion spell, you know, like we play the Sacred Protector, draw Shen. It's six mana, but it's really powerful, especially if the, the barriers give him double attack, that's for sure. I see you kill people kind of out of nowhere. What's up, Jarvan? They have 10 cards in hand. If I pass, and they also pass, they burn their top card. The other thing is, this thing's an 8 6. Like, an 8 6 kills people really fast. Like, really, really fast. Huge. We each hold a world within. What is gained when we return malevolence? It must be done. I demand satisfaction. Hardly fair. How does that take up all my mana? How does that take up eight mana? Wait, why does that take 8 mana? Shouldn't that just be 6 mana? I don't understand. Okay, just a visual bug. That's the only thing I could think of is like, yeah, vi visual bug. I would have preferred not to play Jarvan and just make this attack and, you know, everything like that, but... Wow. So that's gonna be... Uh... They only have one mana left? Alright, well, I'll just have this thing kill him. That thing's 28 damage. I'm telling you, that kills people really fast. Just put one repost on it and it's 28 damage. <laughs> you fought that card's fought. ridiculous. Alright, we got Sivir LeBlanc. We're gonna have some quick attack. Hopefully, Barrier does some good work against quick attack. Um, Love Sacred Protector, of course, but we're not gonna keep a 7 mana card in our opening hand. Sorry about that. I am one with the land. No wrong photo, Strength in grace, beauty in the play. Honor God, hearts in fair. Cool. Cool. So far, so good. And now we got a Shin. So far, so good. Wow. Awesome. No Whirling Death. No whirling death makes life pretty good. If it looks valuable, it probably is, eh? Alright, it could have bloody business, I guess. That'd be bad. Just let me attack. No, no, just let me attack. Alright, so send in you, you, and Okay. 
So not so bad. We got a better board, and they have one extra card than I do. Not so bad. If they were nice, they wouldn't get swindled. Observe the price of ambition. Look at that quality! To ruin. Watch your head. Fall to pieces. Cool. Okay. So now... They can have their 2-1 block my... Caretaker. Oh, that's a good card. Because I don't really want to have to use, like, the... Like, the Spirit's Refuge is really valuable. I don't want to have to use that. This Now this will level up Jarvan if both of these work. Alright, well, they got lots of cards. But I have a level up Jarvan. And I got a really big one drop. And this Bright Seal Protector doing stuff. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. No quarter. Sacred Protector. Yes. I know they're gonna just have like the five two kill my seven two, but that's just how it is, I guess. We're killing this thing for free. Potentially. Yeah. How many innocent lives has Noxus claimed? How many have died for Demacia? For you. A bit rough around the edges. Whoa. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Nature blesses her followers. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Because now this does zero damage, so it doesn't level up the LeBlanc. Their Sivir also doesn't level up because of that. Just go back up to 20. All right, you got barrier, you got double attack. So that means that I can Cataclysm with Jarvan and give it double attack so the barrier doesn't go away because it strikes first. So now whenever it attacks again at their Nexus, it still has double attack. Hmm. Never mind. Never mind about all that. I'm still at 20. I think I can pass. <laughs> what? The boat's awesome. It just drew a Shen for us. We love it Look at Shen run. is. We'll get our legs oh, he's trying. Okay. Now we're the ones with all the cards now, compared to them, even though they've done a couple different draw twos. Okay. So unfortunately it's 14, no, 13 mana, never mind, never mind, yeah, we're good, we're good, okay. Yeah, 13, not 14, yeah, 13 mana, it's 8 power, 7 cost. For Sacred Protector plus now um, the Stand United. The table is set. Now we die. You waste my time. The 
Kinku go where they are needed. So it's not lethal, but it kills everything in play on their side. It's probably going to be good enough. Sorry, I always forget about predictions. Sorry, let me start that. So Lulu Zed, super aggressive, all the elusives. Sharp Sight can be good. That can block elusive. Get him Fleet Feather Tracker. Get him. So I'm going to be passing right here so they don't get to just slam down um, Green Glade Duo, right? Because they have to be scared. Even before drawing that Bright Seal Protector, my, my plan was just to pass to threaten challenging a Green Glade Duo. Because, you know, I was just planning on saving the two spell mana for Sharp Sight anyway. So sure, I could have played the Protector and attack for five. But it's not necessarily a bound. Man, maybe the protector was better. Twin, if they go plus three, plus zero, twin disciplines. Yes. Okay, I love that. The king could watch over Ionia. Watch all you want. My order will act. I don't know the exact two strongest buffs. Like, like, what are you talking about? Like the powers? Usually, like all the epics. The epics are like the best powers. My life will be ordered. You usually want things that like reduce the cost of your stuff. Round start rally is great. Um, that one, if you're speed running, round start rally is really important. If you're speed running, round start rally is yeah, that's very important. Besides that, you want things that get you more mana or reduce the cost of your stuff. Or things that increase the size of your units. I have Dan, if you want to watch, I've played I've played all the the um the labs, especially the new ones, over and that's it's up on YouTube. There's a playlist for labs. Uh the the lab guides. And so yeah, watch those, check those out. No, I, I would don't care about the attack nav one. No, I don't, I don't think that's that's very necessary. Mm. Let's pass. You like the opponent's name? Apathetic Badger. Yeah, that's pretty good, pretty good. My shield is yours! Honor dictates both our actions. They'll never see us coming! No, we have we have sharp sight. We can see you coming. We have good sight like that. Our sight is very sharp. I'm doing this on the protege so I can heal the protege and turn it back into a two four. So that's why I did all the stuff on the protege. It's only 15. I guess I could have used a spell to make it 17 or 16. 16. All right, this this will level up. Yeah, this deck is so good. <laughs> you know, like the barrier stuff. Now we've had very good hands. We've had Shen early every game. If you have Shen early, like it's this deck's ridiculous. There's not a speed run leaderboard as far as I know, but you have the different badges. You can get um, your if you get under 30 minutes, you get your S badge, S tier badge. We won't try to get S tier badges on everything. Alright, 3 0. 
Yeah, this is a deck I could just play all day. Anyway, maybe maybe we'll do that this week, is just play a Jarvan Shen day. Yeah, I definitely like this one more than the Scattered Pod version. Okay, this could be scary. Sejuani. Sejuani's really scary. Frostbite your whole team. Like, that's... Sejuani... Yeah, Sejuani's scary. For sure. What about River Shaper? I'm gonna keep that. Yeah, the boats are better than the than the scatter pods. Oh, I shouldn't play this. Why did I do that? Uh, I'm just saying, please parlay my my fleet feather tracker. Oh, no parlay. Yeah. Never mind. I'm so smart to play that. Get bloody. Get paid. You're covered. Don't stand in my way. I'll stop you. Son of a So blocking there I think will maybe allow me to river shaper. River shape the land and give it life. Protege is the safer thing, but I I want to try to steal a spell. Gross. That was like the perfect card. I don't get to challenge that thing. Alright, well these just trade, but I draw a card, so I, I have one more card than they do. They have one more mana than I do, but their champions are two out of five now. Where's Shen? We have had we've had Shen. We have had Shen. There we go. These other games. I think my, if my opponent has champions, they got this, right? Because I don't have any champions over here. If they got champions, I'm, I'm done. Seem pretty dead anyway. Shen! The balance Let's go. a watchful eye. Jeez. Fight for your lives. Pain is nothing. So doing that of course so that I can't challenge the monkey idol. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. So I could play a sharp sight and make it so they don't have one pow one more powder monkey next round. A, a powder monkey is kind of a problem. I guess we'll trade sharp sight for powder monkey. Oh man! Wow. Never mind. That's the problem with playing good cards. Your opponent nabs them. Why are we playing such good cards for our opponents to nab? I should do it on the one health. Okay. I was thinking, maybe not. I mean, I guess I have, I have the prismatic barrier anyway. Okay. So we shall. Our wills align.
We shall see we are most likely dead. Alright, force that that frostbite out of their hand right there. We're still likely dead because this gangplank. Oh, that thing does 10? Man. Good game. Alright, so like I said, Sejuani, I said that at the very beginning. Sejuani could really be a problem for us. We didn't have our champion until too late. But yes, it Ezreal Karma. We beat Ezreal Karma earlier, but they didn't have a very aggressive hand. They didn't have a very good hand. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to keep that Prismatic Barrier to go along with my one drop. There we go. Three and one. I am one with the land. And my this gets shot, it gets shot. It's kind of like a a mystic shot uh, test, right? Like I'm going to I'm going to be saving my spell mana and, and trying to protect River Shaper. Don't blink or you miss me. Bragging if you could back it up. And that is not a good attack. Can't stop me. But no sharp sight on my side, so I couldn't punish. Firing. Water changes, but never breaks. You're in over your head. You're between me and glory. Okay, so they had that card in case of sharp sight last round. So yeah, this is a much better hand this time for this opponent than what my previous soul. opponent had, because basically, you know, they have the Ezreal. Last time I had sharp sight. Breathe out. And uh they did not have Ezreal this time, they have Ezreal, and I do not have Sharp Sight. The world's a big place. So this is much Let's worse for me. Watch and learn. One shot, all skill. Turrets, pull them down. I really want to draw a spell, please. Form will the waters take? <laughs> okay, got a card out of the deck. I should play Screeching Dragon, shouldn't I? Sure. Glad they didn't just pass. No sharp sight still. No sharp sight still. I'm in. Into the forest. I think I'm going to be playing the Sacred Protector this round and, and getting Shen. I think that's my plan. Yeah, I think that's the plan. It is still an 8 6. I don't really have any Silk Ties, I don't think. 
Yeah, I don't think I really have silk ties. Static shocks are always great with Ezreal. Yeah, I'm getting Shen. It's another way to take another card out of the deck. Double attack barriers with life steal. Could be pretty cool. Ezreal's still a very good card. Twin Disciplines, plus zero, plus three. And now I'll go the Bright Steel Protector. What's that card? What's that card they're thinking about playing? Whatever it is, I hope it costs four mana and they play it right now. Ooh. That's good, that means they probably can't stop me killing their Ezreal. No, I'm not playing Young Witch. I don't think it's too necessary. You're covered. Duty, selflessness, heavy burdens. Sure. Honor guide me. I sense an imbalance. Man, we just went from, you know, like 20 to 8 so fast with Ezreal. Ezreal is so good. If they have another Ezreal, we are likely dead. That's kind of the game, right? Do they have another Ezreal or not? Because if they don't... And if we can go to next round and have Spirit's Refuge next round, we're looking great. But if they have an Ezreal, we're looking not great. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, they do. And I guess that's game. Yeah, just need one sharp sight, right? Like one sharp sight, and we even drew a bunch of spells with the, with what's his name. One sharp sight or one single combat. Um, but we did see that frostbite was kind of like the only thing that we were weak against, besides frostbite. Our deck looks really, really good, but Frostbite can be a problem. Um, no, I'm not, no, I'm definitely not banning Aurelia Azir. That's, the decks I'm playing, I'm, I want to play against Aurelia Azir. I would, I would ban a Nivea or those kind of decks. Like, if we just randomly play against, like, Thralls or Nivea or Deep, you know, like, Deep was our other loss here. I'm banning Deep. Like, those kind of, like, those really big decks, those are the decks that I'm banning. But I got to get there. I got to get to the that uh, seasonal tournament first. Well, that's what we're gonna do this week. We're gonna keep on trying stuff. I'll probably play some more of this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely be playing some more of this Jarvan Chen deck this week. I think that this is a, a good one for me to be playing for getting better rank and stuff like that, so. All right, but that's gonna be it here for Jarvan Shen. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave the, those comments as well and let me know. Um, but thank you, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you for the next video.